Okay, so here we have the Toby Eye Tracker. We're going to open up the box. Let's see what we have here. the tracker itself. And a box with, looks like metal clips of some kind. Some instructions. Some more instructions. and get this opened up and our USB cable and that looks like some kind of a little clip all right and the instructions it looks like so just place this in a clip double stick it to Looks like the bottom of the monitor. Maybe we're gonna have to take a look at that. I'm not sure what that's even showing me. On the mounting. All right, let's get this all put together. Based on what I see, looks like you could, this has got the um, metal piece on the front of it for the magnet. So you could mount this underneath your monitor, like so, with this front end. And then it's got this little, um, like little me plastic mechanism here, which would allow you to like move it, to tilt it, right? Tilt it forward, tilt it back. So it just slides along in this little kind of clip here right here kind of hard to see or you can just take these little magnets peel off the backing and stick it directly to the monitor and then stick this toe bleed directly to it so you can see it's got the little magnets on the back right here so I'm not sure which way I'm going to mount this on the PC. I don't think these would hold very well. Only because I don't think there's a big flat part underneath the bottom of my... I mean, there's some flatness here, but... Yeah, I'm not sure which way it's going to work better. Right? The way it mounted here, or do I want it mounted under here and then be able to tilt it up? I don't think I really need to tilt it up. I think I'm going to try to mount it just directly to the monitor on this right hand side, only because I'm sitting more in the middle. I don't sit really in the middle of the monitor. I sit more on this side, so I think that's where I'm going to mount it. See you after I'm done. Okay, so just so you can see, that's now where it's mounted on my monitor. Although I sit a little bit to the right of that. I'm probably more in line with where it says Toby on the eye tracker. Yeah, 
yeah that's probably more where i'm in line with all right so we're going to load up the game here it's downloading the latest version and once it's downloaded we'll load her up we'll get into the settings and see where this toby setup is see you then okay so let's go ahead and plug the device in and see what happens according to what i read somewhere it was supposed to auto detect so let's give it out a try well I didn't see anything happen on the desktop so I think it didn't install correctly but let me check devices and see if it's there So I do see some devices loaded, but it doesn't look like it found any drivers for them. Let's see if Windows can find the drivers automatically. If not, I'm going to have to go download them from the website. All right, let's see what we can find here on Google. And which website do I want to open up here? Mm, this looks good. Let's click on this. Blah, blah, blah. Toby. Eye tracker five. Uh, okay, I accept. Thank you. And download. Probably going to be a fast download, although I don't really see much happening. Let's see here, File Explorer. Drag this window over. Let's run the installation. I hear sounds like it's installing. Alright, so it's loading itself up. Uh, standard kind of disclaimer stuff saying we don't track you and we're just tracking your eyes, not you. And let's run the setup. Okay, so it looks like he wants us to line up this with where it's lined up to on the bottom of the monitor. All right, so let's line this thing back up to the center. Since that's where we put the device, kind of match it up here. That looks good to me.
All right, so it's going to want us to do a calibration. And it's going to show us those my eyeballs that it's tracking. And you can see there that it's to the right of the screen. Only because that's where I'm sitting. And now it's making me look at these dots. Okay. More dots. Okay. Yay! All right, let's see how well it tracks. There's the eye tracker and there's a silhouette of my head. All right, it's tracking pretty good. It's tracking good over there. It's tracking a little low over here, but I think we're gonna go with it. It's in the circle. And you can see it's moving my head also in the silhouette. All right. Let's get in the game and see what happens. Update. Uh-oh. Oh, they released version 12 already? Man, it was just in PTU. Okay. Okay, so let's head into the game and see... Well, before we head in the game, I guess, let's go to our options and see if we can find some head tracker settings here for Toby. And I'm going to assume they're going to be over here under the head tracking comms and face, whatever that is. All right, let's see here. Head tracking, general source. Head tracking, face wear. Head tracking, Toby. All right, so here's the Toby settings. All right, so it looks like the head tracker settings are broken down into certain sections here. So under general for our source, we're saying it's Toby. Under general, toggle enabled. General toggle enabled is yes. General use position offset in cockpit. Well, I don't know what that means, so we'll say yes. General toggle auto recalibrate. Don't know what that means either, so we'll say yes, since it's defaulted to yes. Uh, general, disable while seated. Does that mean when I sit in the cockpit? Or does that mean when I sit down, like, no. It sounds good to me. Uh, disable during FPS. No. Disable during ADS. Which is... Um, I think that stands for aiming down sight. So, like, if you're looking through... Um, like on a sniper rifle and you're aiming down the sight, do you want it to be disabled? I don't know. Uh, disabled during Moby Glass, yes. Um, so when I'm looking at the Moby Glass, do I want it the um, eye tracker tracking anything or moving me around? I'm going to say let's disable it during that because we have some scripts that run that control the mouse. And if I'm moving the mouse with my eyes, I think that's going to conflict. So 
Let's keep that disabled. Disable during interaction mode. No. Enable roll in seats. Enable roll in seats. Enable roll. I don't know. I don't even know what, how to roll in first person shooter. Enable view. General external toggle view enabled. External toggle view. External view toggle enabled. Let's turn that on. External view. I want it. I want it working when I'm looking third person. I guess that's what that means. Uh, general hold use device offset. All right, I'm good with no. Um, disable after X seconds of missing input. Sensitivity for pitch, yaw, and roll. Tracking threshold, dead zone, yaw, pitch, and roll. We're gonna leave all of this the same because I really, smoothing speed, smoothing threshold, face where position input scale. Dead zone left, right, up, down, forward, back. I don't even know what these mean. Gaze ahead, gaze responsiveness, sensitivity, yaw, sensitivity, pitch, sensitivity, center stabilization, auto center enabled. Put scale, dead zone, left, right. Position, dead zone, left and right. Move. Oh, that's face wear. This is Toby. Okay. All right, so we have everything um, kind of checked out here. Let's go ahead and do back. And let's go in the game. And we'll see what happens. All right, so yeah, I'm. Uh, all right, so here I go. I'm moving my eyes, just my eyes. I'm keeping my head completely still. Um, let's look left. So I'm looking at the left side of my screen, left corner up, middle left of my screen shoot. up. of my screen right right side right so it's bouncing quite a bit that might get to be annoying so I don't know if that's a sensitivity setting all right so let's use my entire head let's look up Ooh. tilting my head up tilt my head down don't go anywhere. My head left. I'm looking to turn my head to the right. Okay. Let's get out of the bed. So like when I blink it bounces the camera. It appears that's kind of annoying um wow 
is bouncing all over the place when I blink. All right, let's do this. Turn head left, turn high, higher head right. Look up, look down. Affirmative. Just using my eyes to move around. So there might be some of the sensitivity settings we need to, I feel like I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. All right, let's see here. I'm still using my mouse to kind of turn my body around. But I feel like I'm, wow, I feel like I'm not centered. Like, I'm walking right or left right now. Um, yeah, something's, something's off here. Like if I'm looking straight at, what I feel like I'm looking straight ahead, I'm really, I'm walking off to the right. So I'm looking straight ahead there, but I'm walking right. Because I feel like I am. Just... All right, let's go. All right, so um, in third person view, looking around. How do I calibrate? our options here because I feel like I'm tilted all over the place um, key bindings is there anything in here about let's see here they're on foot reset view Slash enable head tracking toggle head tracking hold recenter head device enable disable head tracking for third person camera toggle all of that's done through the number pad slash all right turn it on or off if I hold it it appears like it's going to do something Recenter head tracking device, it's a tracker enabled, disable head tracking third person camera toggle. Oh, um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and assign something to this. Double click.
Let's say if we double tap the slash, maybe that'll work. Let's see here. Press to rebind, press to unselect, press X to unbind. All right, waiting for button input. Let's do the slash. Um, let's say no there. I want to do the same thing. Press to select. Uh, not sure why we're back here. Advanced have some settings. Recenter head tracking device. I want to set double tap. Double tap what though? Double click. What's that used for? All right, so we're gonna do number pad, double tap. All right, let's go back and see what happens here. Return the game, because we're kind of like floating around. Let's go. Oh, it's not like I'm crooked. Recenter. All right, so we just turned it off. No, I didn't turn it off. So I'm pressing the num pad slash. first-person view here. All right, so it appears to be turned off now. Let's turn it back on. Okay, I'm looking straight ahead. Going this direction. Okay. All right, so all I did, I think, was hit this turned it off and then turned it back on again. Ooh. I mean, it is working. And it's not bouncing around as much. All right, let's see what's going on here. I mean, it's very sensitive. Let's go get into our ship. Recruiter for details. So it is currently on and it is currently working and it's currently tracking, but since I guess I'm looking center screen most of the time, I'm not seeing it jerk the camera around like it was a minute ago. So it seems much better there. The mean. All right, so mouse still moves, you know, from head to. But if I look over to the right or I look a little bit to the left, Next you know, stop. without Next turning stop. my head, you know, then if I turn my head, of course, I get a big swing around. But there's still a little bit of bouncy, and I don't know if that's because of my head, you know. I mean, we don't sit extremely still. I don't think anybody just keeps their head completely still when they're playing a game. Constantly shifting around, you're constantly moving. Now 
So that may be some sensitivity settings that we'll need to adjust. We can find here. Where are we anyway? Oh, we're in Lorville. Hello. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hurry up. Get out of the way. All right. Do I need gifts here? If you, do you have a gift for me? Hello? Any gifts? No? Any gifts? Oh, I see a gift! Oh, for a second there, I thought that was Hot Wheels. Let's see here. I have a gift! Gonna ship out and see what this head tracker does. Uh, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and now oh, rotate the fighter. Still has a little bit of an issue with the blinking. All right, so we're in hangar zero nine. Show Moby Glass. Confirmed. Alright, so confirmed it is not working in the Moby Glass. Turning my head, looking up, looking down. Not changing anything there, that's good. Close Moby Glass. Acknowledged. Uh, Alright, let's see, we said hangar 09. It's a little very sensitive. I didn't realize I bowed my head so much. Well, oh, hold on a second. Let me let me retract that statement. Hangar zero nine. No, I didn't realize that my head moves so much when I'm playing the game. Um yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is very sensitive to if you move your eyes around at all. Computer, open the ship's door. Acknowledged. Computer, close the ship's door. Acknowledged. <laughs> Number one, ready the ship for departure. Yes, Commander. Stand by. Current status. Navigation, missions, fuel, repairs, and systems checked. Maintenance complete. I concur. Contact departure services. Yeah, something's happened to my settings there. 
Show Moby Glass. Affirmative. Do it the old fashioned way. Close Moby Glass. Affirmative. You are clear to launch. Launch light. Affirmative. 30 meters. You have the calm. Landing modules retracted. Alright, so it's not going to control my cursor. It's just going to control me being able to look around. Oh, cool. Um, Flight assist online. Thank you. Engage cruise control. Yes, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize I was dropping. Okay then. Well, there you go. That concludes our test of the Toby eye tracking. Um, it's just going to be one of those things I have to get used to, but it does work. We are in the game. I can turn my head. I can go look up, I can look down. Not down. I can look up, uh, left, and right. So let's do this number slash one more time. What is That just toggles it off. So toggled off, not working, double tap. I don't know what that does for me. Toggle it on. All right, so there you have it. Uh, final thoughts on this will probably, um, well, let's think about this. So, let's go, to, let's do this. Let's quit the game and let's talk about the cost of this and, and what you're getting out of it. Um, is it nice to be able to do all this without having to mess around with the camera? Yes. Um, third person view. So it is moving the camera in third person view, which is it smooth? No, not really smoother than I can do with the mouse. outside the ship so let me go get the ship and get the <laughs> can get off the planet um, and take a look at the ship so I'm not gonna make you watch the video but we're gonna head back to get a different ship so I'll re pick up the video once I get into the other ship and we get off planet and we'll see what the camera looks like from the ship all right be right back yeah Number one, ready to ship for departure. Yes, sir. Stand by. Current status. Navigation, missions, fuel, repairs, and systems checked. Maintenance complete. I concur. Close canopy.
it didn't. <laughs> it was kind of strange, but it, <laughs> that was not a recognized command. Um, so my voice didn't really do anything, but the timing there was perfect. All right, let's see here. Let's contact. You are clear to launch. Can't really see on this one. Uh, all right. Lift off. Launch. Affirmative. 30 meters. You have the call. Landing modules retracted. Ready the ship for flight. Stand by for launch. Thank you. Please Engage cruise you. control. Engage cruise control. Why well, is that not working? Full jump drive. Aye, uh, aye, yeah, come on, sir. Let's see if we can find some place to jump to. Engage jump drive on my mark. Okay. Engage. Jump. All right. Let's get calm down here. And let's look at this outside view. And... Moving the camera right, left, looking up, looking down, lifting my head up, turning my head right, turning my head left, looking down, turning my head down. Hmm. Get back in here. Why are we spinning? Why does it look like we're spinning? Everything's centered.
Okay, ship, I need you to stay still. We're not moving. Where that person's going. All right, I have to concentrate on a staring at a certain part of the ship. Move the camera around. All right, looking up. Let's go back in here. So, could this be handy? Yeah, for sure. When fighting, dog fighting, being able to look around your canopy without having to move mouse click keys. Um, you know, or moving your mouse in one direction while you're looking in another. Uh, moving your ship around. For sure. Quite handy. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and land up here. It is a little jerky still. And again, it's probably just some settings. I'm not sure why I keep getting that green flashing though. That's like the fourth time that's happened to me. Contact landing services. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Is anybody else getting those flashes? And I'm beginning to wonder if it's something to do with my monitor, the cables, this new PC. Um, yeah, just weirding me out. It seems like on every flight I get these green flashes that are just like, what is that? Am I being scanned? Number one, ready to ship for landing. Confirmed. The landing gear is down and locked.
Auto land. Automated landing enabled. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. So here's the current offer for this suit. They've now created armor for it, for the helmet. And just giving you a look here at what the outfit looks like with the helmet. Turn around here. So you can see the back. And that's what the back of it looks like. And that's what the bottom of the shoes look like. Maybe a close up look here. It's as close as it's going to let me get, it looks like. There we go. All right, looking sharp. Okay, so let's just look at this real quick and give like a summary here. If you were looking for head tracking software to use in the game, it looks like you've got at least on Amazon, you've like got a couple of choices here, which is the tracker, or whatever they call it, Track IR. Um, five premium head tracking for gaming. That's one fifty nine ninety nine. But I think you also need. Well, let's look at it. I can't see anything in the picture here that says that it comes with. The let's see what it says down here. So there's no clip included. Okay, so that's $149.99 according to this without a clip, right? So if we go back and we look at the clip, 
you could get a USB LED IR track clip pro for the track for about another $30. So you're looking at, um, what is that? 159, 69, 79, 189, 188, 98 or something like that, right? So close to the $200 mark, or you can get the eye tracker right now on sale, I believe, if you order it direct through Star Citizen for $210, I think. I think you're getting... Let's see here what Star Citizen is doing for us. All right, so it looks like right now you can get the Toby Eye Tracker through Star Citizen for 206 US dollars with the discount that they have right now. So they're giving you 10% off of the 229 So that's $22 that you'll save if you get it now before January 8th, I believe, is what they were doing. Let's see here. Yep, January 8th. So you get a 10% discount if you order it through Star Citizen's link right here so yeah um 198 to 208 so for another ten dollars you don't have to attach all this stuff to your headset and get the toby eye tracker now i do not have the tracker five track ir5 so i don't know how precise it is or how good it is maybe somebody can let us know if they have one um, so I really can't compare the two. All I can do is tell you that the Toby Eye Tracker does work. I don't know how great it's going to be in game, and you can see how it jerks a little bit. But again, I have no experience with the Track IR, so I don't know if it jerks a little bit too in the game. Um, unfortunately, I can only look at it, you know, from the information I can glean from Amazon. So. Price-wise, it's in line with what you would spend, you know, to get this. And, and then all you have to decide is whether or not it's worth it in the game for you. So, um, am I sorry that I bought it? No. I mean, I've got to play the game a lot more to find out how it really works and how good it is. And then, again, with this, I can also use it outside of the game, possibly... Um, and come up with some, you know, use it on the desktop maybe, or just like I'm, I'm sure you can with the Track IR5. Also, I'm sure you can probably use that outside the game. Um, there's probably some different software, and uh, I'm sure this one is probably recognized by a lot more games than the Toby. Um, but, and again, I don't know. The, and you're going to have to do some research on it um, and find out what's best for you. All I can say is it's a lot of money, $200, just to be able to have the system kind of watch your eyes and move the camera around. Um, uh, man, that's this is not the first thing I would buy. Um, you know, if you're looking for like an immersion factor or something like that, I would definitely get the voice mods, uh, the voice attack. And the uh, HCS packs, I mean, again, you're talking like 10% of what this cost to get the immersion of the voice interaction with the computer and everything else. So, I mean, you can probably get into that for about $25 as compared to $229 for this. So, immersion factor-wise, you know, for the cost, the HCS voice packs and the voice attack are much better in my opinion so there you have it um that's going to do it for this video and i hope everybody has a good holiday and get out there in diverse and collect some of those gifts and um 
that should be it. So happy holidays, everyone. Happy Luminalia. All right. Talk to you soon.